a real yurt and national motifs in the heart of Berlin. At the event dedicated to the 30th anniversary of Kazakhstan's independence, visitors could try on Chopin and try to play the Dombra. The organizers of the photo exhibition Nature, Culture, People, Fascinating Kazakhstan were the Embassy of Kazakhstan and the Kazan EV community. Students of the Kazakh National University of Arts presented a special program, which included the cues of Kormangazu and Dina Nurpisova, as well as everyone's favorite folk songs. Excellent vocal skills and virtuoso playing of the Dombra surprised the Berlin audience. <laughs> Um, I really like Kazakh music. I like it so much that I even bought several CDs. I also recorded a video from this concert. I was touched by the voice of the soloist. I will definitely post this video on social media. I think this exhibition advertises Kazakhstan perfectly. It makes me want to visit your country. <laughs> At the photo exhibition, visitors could see the beauty of the Sharon Canyon, the beautiful capital, endless steps and herds of horses. These unique landscapes seem to have transported everyone for a while to the original, modern and multifaceted Kazakhstan. I like the exhibition very much. I was especially impressed by the music and the skills of your artists. It is nice to hear Kazakh music here in Berlin. They gave us a piece of Kazakhstan. Unfortunately, I have not been to your country yet, but I really want to visit it. I congratulate all residents of Kazakhstan on the 30th anniversary of independence. The country has really changed during this time. I wish you prosperity. The photo exhibition in Berlin, dedicated to Kazakhstan, will last two weeks. After that, the organizers plan to present the installation in Frankfurt and Munich.